If you're making a platforming game or a side-scrolling game, then you might want to have a different sky from the one that's included in Unity. The one that's uh, built in with the skybox has a nice gradient, uh, but it fades into a ground texture that you may not want. So in this video, I'm going to show you a really quick tip of how to create a gradient sky using only four pixels. So uh, the graphics card will do the rest for you. I recommend this site called uh, pixelart.com. It's a free site where you can just do start drawing, new drawing, and let's just create it one pixel wide and four pixels tall. That's all we need today. And for this one, I'm just gonna create four colors. So the base is gonna be white and then some different shades of blue. Let's scroll down and pick here. Let's pick uh, this one, this one and a dark one. There we go. Let's save this one or download it and let's bring it into Unity. Here we go. Let's actually create a new folder here called uh, four pixel sky and bring it in here. We can also rename this to four pixel sky. Right click here and create a scene and I call it four pixel sky. Let's bring this one in. And then what we'll do is uh, I'll bring that Spitfire in that I made. The, if you didn't see that one, I made a video just the other day about creating this low poly Spitfire model. So if you want to have a look at that video, you could see how I created this one. I should also bring this texture into it. Onto the Spitfire itself and also onto the propeller. And let's change the lighting in the scene as well. So I go to window rendering lighting settings and let's auto generate the light map here. Okay, so this uh, sky is quite nice in the built-in skybox, but again, we, I don't really want this uh, gray part in the bottom here, and especially if you do in a side view game. So um, here, I'll just create a new, create a 3D object, and let's do a quad. And that's basically just a, a, a quad object like this. And then we need to rotate it so we can see it from the side. So I'll rotate it on the Y axis, uh, minus 90 degrees. And let's scale it up to 2000 wide, Actually, I should scale it to 90 degrees on the y-axis. Let's scale it up to be 1,000 wide and uh, 400 tall. Oh no, I need to do the y-axis. There we go. And let's move it back. So I press W on the key to get this, and then let's just move it back like this. And then we need to change the camera as well. So let's have this one. Press R on the keyboard and press the control key. I can rotate the camera here to 90 degrees. And then I press W on the keyboard and we can move it so we see the plane from the side. So now let's change this, uh, just the simple quad here into a platformer style background. Let's call this object sky. I press F, oops, press F2 to rename it. And uh, we also, then we have this four pixel uh, texture that we created. So let's drag that onto the sky and it looks a bit dim now. And that's because we need to go into this created uh, material that was automatically created. And let's uh, change the shader to unlit texture. And now we're starting to get this guy already here. Let's also rotate the light here so we get some lighting on the plane. There we go. We can move the camera back a little bit as well so we see it from the side. There we go. Uh, we should also make this plane move a little bit. So let's create uh, a new script here. Uh, we can create it in this folder here. Let's call this one just uh, pixel plane control and drag that onto the plane. Let's start up Visual Studio here. And here let's create a simple update script just. Let's do transform translate vector 3 we want to go forward and let's just pick a speed and multiply it by uh, time dot delta time. So delta time makes it run uh, correct speed in independent of what frame rate the game is running in. So that's a really important one if you uh, if you didn't know that one. And then also let's do so you can control the plane a little bit. Let's do transform rotate and we'll rotate it around the forward axis. And let's get input get axis horizontal. We want to have the horizontal axis times 300 times delta. You have to pick uh, just numbers that suit the speed of the game that you're making. And let's do this around the world uh, coordinate system. So I press play. So that, whoop. Well, the plane moved forward, so that was good. 
uh, a bit too quick to see what was happening. So let's create a helper script for our camera as well. Let's call it pixel camera, pixel sky camera. And let's drag this onto the camera and double click on it to edit it. And here we need to have a few things. First of all, we want to define a target, which is going to be our plane. So we'll do public transform target. Uh, we also want to have a damping effect. So, and that's how, how fast the camera should catch up to the plane. Let's set that at 10, for example. And we also need to define an offset because we want the camera to stay a little bit farther away from the object. We don't want it to catch up with the actual object itself. And the first thing we need to do is calculate this offset in the start method. So let's do offset transform. Oops. If I could spell transform dot position a minus target position. So that calculates an offset for us that we can use for the camera. And then for the let's switch this one to late update uh, camera changes should really be done in late update after all the major stuff has been moved around. And here we do transform position and we want to do an interpolation from uh, where we are until the new target position. So I do a vector three and then lerp command for the interpolation and we'll go from the camera's current position and then we'll do it to the target Oop. target position plus the offset and then we'll uh, the speed that it should lerp this is that we'll do the damper speed times time dot delta time to make it again frame rate independent Let's try this. Okay, so we have an error and that's because we haven't assigned the target yet. So let's assign the Spitfire as the target. Okay, and I press the left and right key now uh, to rotate the plane. Seems to work, good. And now we run out of space because I haven't made this wide enough. We can make the sky a lot wider. Let's make it 10,000 wide. Okay, we should also be able to go up and down. So let's go back into our program. And we have to go to the plane control here. And let's enter another line here for the transform translate. So the translate moves an object in a, in a direction. And let's do it the vector three up times input get axis. And this time we want to use the vertical axis times 50 maybe speed wise. And then let's not forget the delta time the frame rate independency and then we'll do it in the relative to the space world coordinate system so it doesn't do it up towards its local axis we want to have it just in the simple game go up and down rather than going up and down like in the orientation of the plane itself so let's see if we can uh, go up and down now as well so i can rotate the plane using the left and right keys and i can climb and i can lower the plane and here you can see that the gradient sky is uh, literally, it's just those four pixels that we created because uh, the magic here happens, uh, the, the graphic cards takes those four pixels and then when you stretch it out, uh, it does a really nice job to create a gradient to, uh, to interpolate or interpolate, fade <laughs> between the different pixel colors. So basically at the top here, we have the dark blue and then it fades down to the different blues that we created all the way down to the white. So here's a traditional, uh, maybe a platformer style look, but with really crisp colors and hardly any, it's only four pixels worth of information. As you can see, there is uh, a section down here which is a little bit darker and you didn't really uh, maybe expect that because we created a white pixel at the bottom. And that's because this pixel texture is set to the wrap mode here is important to switch to clamp and then click apply. Now, as you can see, it clamps the white color that we had at the bottom and it also clamps this one at the top here to the dark blue that we created. And this uh, bilinear filter mode is what does all the magic, as I mentioned. If it was to set to point, then you can see that it's only these four pixels now that we created. And this is the actual texture and the bilinear is what does everything here. Uh, so a really nice fade effect. Another thing that you might want to change is uh, if it doesn't look exactly the type of colors that you created, you can switch this uh, compression to none and apply. I cannot apply it in play mode. There we go. Uh, so if it doesn't look exactly as you planned, try to switch the compression to none because it does alter the colors a slight bit. 
yeah, do you know what? I think I'm gonna finish there. That's it. Just a short tutorial like that. So how to create a gradient sky using only four pixels for your platformer style game. Press the thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Sometimes I do short uh, tutorials like this and sometimes I do long ones. Like for example, modeling that Spitfire took me about an hour and 10 minutes. So there's a video out for that if you wanna learn how to blueprint model things like that in Blender instead. Take care guys, I'll see you soon. See you in the next video.